For centuries, humanity has been captivated by the pursuit of towering achievements. From the Great Pyramids of Giza to modern engineering marvels like the Eiffel Tower and the Burj Khalifa, tall structures have served as both cultural monuments and statements of technical prowess. The desire to reach ever greater heights is not just a matter of vanity. It symbolizes ambition, economic confidence, and the perpetual drive for innovation. Today, no structure better embodies this quest for altitude than the Jeddah Tower in Saudi Arabia. Conceived as the planet's first one-kilometer-tall skyscraper, it has weathered a series of setbacks and delays. Yet, in 2025, construction has officially resumed. With renewed energy and resources, the world's tallest skyscraper is once again on track to push the boundaries of what is possible in modern architecture. Rising monuments have always been markers of societal progress. In ancient times, towering ziggurats and pyramids showcased the sophistication of their respective civilizations. As centuries rolled on, cathedrals in medieval Europe and later 19th century iron giants such as the Eiffel Tower signaled new eras in structural ingenuity. By the early 20th century, New York City seized the spotlight with skyscrapers like the Empire State Building and Chrysler Building, each vying for the title of world's tallest. In the 21st century, that pursuit continued with dazzling results. Taipei 101 in Taiwan soared to 508 meters before Dubai's Burj Khalifa ultimately overshadowed it at 828 meters. This relentless push upward is steeped in more than just architectural fascination. Each structure, from Chicago's Willis to Malaysia's Petronas Twin Towers, represents aspiration, national pride, and a testament to the capabilities of modern engineering. Jeddah Tower sits comfortably in this historical continuum, intended not only to surpass all existing records, but also to mark Saudi Arabia's ambitions under the broader framework of its economic and urban development plans. Originally announced as the Kingdom Tower, the project was conceived in the early 2000s. The plan was formidable, a 1,000-meter-tall skyscraper that would dwarf the 828-meter Burj Khalifa. Adrian Smith, the celebrated architect whose portfolio includes the Burj Khalifa, led the design team, ensuring the structure would stand as a masterstroke of both engineering and aesthetics. The project aimed to set a new benchmark not only in height, but also in sustainability and intelligent design. The proposed cost hovered around 1.2 to 1.4 billion US dollars, a figure as staggering as the tower's height. Construction work officially kicked off in April 2013, with the foundation laying process alone taking months of precision planning. Massive concrete piles and steel reinforcement were put in place, engineered to bear the weight of a tower that would eventually boast over 250 floors. By 2014, the skeletal outline of the tower began to take shape, though still dwarfed by the empty air above it. In the first few years, construction proceeded at a steady pace. Observers saw the concrete core rising floor by floor, and each milestone seemed to bring the tower closer to its ambitious final height. During this period, engineers grappled with wind load analysis, a critical factor when building at such an extreme altitude. The aerodynamics of a 1,000-meter structure had to be meticulously calculated, requiring repeated wind tunnel tests and computational modeling. However, by late 2017, reports emerged of financial strains and shifts in the broader economic climate within Saudi Arabia. With global oil prices fluctuating, the regional economy underwent a period of recalibration. Projects on the scale of Jeddah Tower felt the pressure, leading to slowdowns and partial halts. By 2018, construction had paused altogether, leaving the partially built tower standing at around 270 meters. External observers began to question if the dream of a one-kilometer skyscraper was too bold in a market dealing with fiscal uncertainty. As the tower's site sat idle, several factors compounded its stall. The global economic landscape, influenced by geopolitical tensions and market cycles, played a key role. By 2020, the COVID-19 pandemic dealt an additional blow to major construction initiatives worldwide, halting supply chains and labor availability. Although plans never fully vanished, progress on Jeddah Tower became more of a question mark than a certainty. These years were marked by introspection within the Saudi development sector. 
mega projects like NEOM, a planned cross-border smart city, and vast initiatives in renewable energy and tourism began to reshape the national agenda. The Jeddah Tower risked being overshadowed by the sheer scope of other grand-scale undertakings. Yet, the tower's symbolic value as a future global icon remained strong in the collective mindset, both nationally and internationally. Behind the scenes, the tower's backers were restructuring finances and forging new partnerships to revive the project. The Jeddah Economic Company, overseeing the tower's development, reportedly entered negotiations with a consortium of global firms aiming to secure investments that would facilitate the tower's completion. Meanwhile, architects and engineers revisited design blueprints to incorporate new structural materials and technologies introduced since the project's inception. Of particular interest was the exploration of high-performance concrete blends capable of withstanding not just compressive forces, but also the temperature extremes typical of the coastal climate near the Red Sea. Another area that commanded attention was the building's elevator technology. Traveling up to one kilometer in height requires advanced systems capable of moving at over 10 meters per second, all while prioritizing passenger comfort and safety. In 2023, experts reconvened to test new generation elevator prototypes, ensuring that the ride experience in the world's tallest building would be not only efficient, but also seamless. In early 2025, official news broke construction of the Jeddah Tower had resumed. This announcement came as a direct result of renewed local and international investment, coupled with a renewed strategic focus on completing landmark projects ahead of Saudi Arabia's Vision 2030 agenda. Cranes that had sat idle for years swung back into action, and a fresh influx of workers returned to the site. The tower's reinforced concrete core began to rise once again, with newly updated construction timetables projecting incremental growth on a monthly basis. Media outlets around the globe quickly caught wind of the development. Some drew parallels with the Burj Khalifa's own rapid rise, forecasting that Jeddah Tower might reach its final height by 2028 or 2029 if the current pace holds. Engineers on the ground reported that the advanced materials now being utilized would accelerate construction while simultaneously reducing costs. For onlookers, seeing the cranes in motion once more was both a relief and a tangible sign of Saudi Arabia's determination to complete what has been touted as a crowning achievement in architectural ambition. From an environmental standpoint, megatall projects like the Jeddah Tower do not come without concerns. Such skyscrapers demand vast quantities of resources, including steel, concrete, and water. In a region already grappling with high temperatures and limited freshwater reserves, Sustainability is a constant discussion point. The tower's design includes systems for rainwater collection and highly efficient air conditioning technologies intended to reduce overall energy usage. As climate awareness grows, the project's architects and developers acknowledge that meeting rigorous sustainability standards is an ongoing imperative. Economically, the tower promises to become a centerpiece of the larger Jeddah Economic City development an area intended to feature commercial, residential, and entertainment districts. Proponents argue that such a project will create jobs, attract tourism, and highlight Saudi Arabia as a hub of innovation. However, analysts have noted that economic returns are not always guaranteed. Market demand for high-end real estate fluctuates, and the long-term success of the tower depends on broader urban planning strategies, infrastructure readiness, and global economic stability. If completed as planned, the Jeddah Tower will fundamentally reshape both the physical skyline of Jeddah and the symbolic skyline of global skyscraper development. Standing at over 1,000 meters, it will surpass the Burj Khalifa by over 170 meters. Beyond its sheer size, the tower stands as a potential model for how cutting-edge engineering principles can be adapted in extreme conditions. The project team has consistently integrated new software and hardware solutions, from self-climbing formwork to real-time structural health monitoring systems capable of sending alerts if stress or wind loads exceed tolerable limits. The tower is also set to incorporate mixed-use functionalities. Observers can expect luxury hotels, office spaces, residential apartments, and an observation deck perched at a breathtaking altitude, likely the highest publicly accessible viewpoint in the world. This multi-use approach is designed to ensure the tower's long-term viability catering to both commercial interest and tourism.
as global economies trend toward urban density, Jeddah Tower may also offer a glimpse into vertical urban planning, a concept that could become more relevant in congested cities around the globe. Today, with construction back on track, the Jeddah Tower stands as a grand experiment in how far human ingenuity can stretch upward. Every poured concrete slab, every steel beam, and every innovative design element is bringing this one-kilometer high dream closer to reality. It is a bold endeavor, reflecting a broader shift in Saudi Arabia's development strategy and resonating with the world's ongoing fascination for monumental architecture. Yet as the tower nears completion, its significance extends beyond mere records. It speaks to the capacity of modern engineering to overcome challenges, both economic and environmental, and to elevate entire communities in the process. Should the Jeddah Tower be completed within the new proposed timeline, it will redefine the limits of the skyscraper as we know it. Its final form will serve as a testimony to the human desire to reach new summits of possibility. In an era where sustainability, resource constraints, and economic diversification are at the forefront of global discourse, the tower's success or failure will carry profound lessons for future projects. From its inception to its current phase, Jeddah Tower illustrates how ambition, coupled with persistent innovation, continues to drive us toward extraordinary feats. As we look ahead, one cannot help but wonder, how long before another visionary project arises to eclipse even this towering milestone, proving once again that humanity's reach is always inching toward the sky?